pageants really helped me grow as a person and I love, you know, meeting people and challenging myself. I guess I've just found who I am and I've grown into my skin, so to speak. I want to be a role model for the younger generation. There is more to just wearing a dress or a bikini and looking nice on the day. Miss Earth was something that I looked up to my whole life as a child. They're into health, they're into beauty, they're into fashion. You know, what a great combination. I think I'm just more of a relaxed nature. I feel like the environment's going to be here a lot longer than you and I, so we need to do something to protect it. There's going to be a, quite a few fun things happen and there's going to be some, some things that are going to be, oh, we never saw that coming, to make this thing memorable. And yet again, the whole emphasis is around we want to make it F, U, N. I'm really here to help evolve the pageant industry, especially in Australia. I have jumped on board with Miss Earth because I believe in the brand. I think it's the causes that we promote are causes that will resonate and echo with the public. What are you, you know, what's on your mind? I mean, what are your expectations? But I really don't have too many expectations. I'm just looking forward to what's coming. Yeah, I'm really excited to be on board and meet everyone and have a great time, I think. It'll be great fun. I'm studying agriculture at university. And this is my very first pageant. I also started an environmental population health campaign called Hashtag I Heart My Earth. I just graduated recently in a Bachelor of Art, majoring in development study, sociology and anthropology. Um, you might see me dancing around sometimes, making music. That's why I came back. I knew it was going to be different this year and I know I'm going to have so much fun. And I'm very happy to see you. You guys have a pretty jam-packed few days ahead and I'm so excited to see you at the final. About the comp? Excited. Excited and yeah. nervous actually for yeah. me. Everyone's really nice. They've done so many things in their lives, so it'll be good to get to know everybody and find out what they're involved in. Well, and we all care about the cause too. Exactly. We're all, we're all interested in environmental issues, so that's why we're here. It takes 800 years for a plastic bag to decompose. Tons of it is getting stuck into our oceans. It's causing so much pollution. Plastic is made from um, petroleum, so it's actually something that's really toxic to our animals and to us. Hey girls, welcome to the Novotel. Enjoy your stay here. This is beautiful Manly Beach. And don't forget to hashtag Miss Earth Australia and let us know what you think. Gorgeous. I wanted something like what you actually have right now. Like literally the same. Thing. How many have you won since then? <laughs> Haven't won any yet. <laughs> Haven't won any yet? I reckon you've got a good chance. So here we are, the Australasian College and Broadway for hair and makeup. As you can see, all of the girls getting their selves nice and prepped, including myself. Do you like it? Yeah, I just didn't think it took so long. I didn't. I always thought you were a natural beauty girl. No such thing as natural beauty. Oh, you learned that from me. <laughs> I did. You learned that from me. She pays attention. And I think it's it's a must. I've always said that you never walk out of your front door without your armor. And when it comes to a beauty queen, your hair and your makeup is your armor. Absolutely. Having said that, though, at the Miss Earth International pageant, they actually do interviews without makeup and they <gasps> wipe your face clean before you walk in. So I have it is seen important. it in action. Yes. <laughs> I think the way that they, um, I think the whole mechanism of the whole thing is, let's get them in a vulnerable state yeah. and let's see how they deal with this kind of situation. Because most of the time it's a bit of a surprise to the girls, isn't it? It's, it's an interesting 
interesting thing that today we feel we can't go without makeup um, and feel ourselves. And I think this is a great way into proving that not only can you do it, and I think that's part of the reason why they do do it at internationals because it's a moniker of a healthy self-esteem to be able to do that. But being able to wear makeup and be confident in yourself as well is also a different skill set. This is the quarantine station. Uh, since 1828, even if one person was sick on board the ship when you arrived here in Australia, the whole ship had to come in here and stay in quarantine. So, see how brave you all are, and good luck. <laughs> all of the people who died here are all buried on site. So we're going to go on a ghost tour right now. Um, kind of scared about that, but we'll see how it goes. The thing is about ghosts, it's not necessarily about what you see. It's really about what you feel. You feel like you're being watched when you come here. There might be a certain corner in the room that feels really creepy. Definitely not what I expected though. I can't even think, I'm that scared. I'm really excited to hear that you guys are going to spend the night here tonight. Surely they're not going to let us stay here, so fingers crossed, they're joking. Not excited uh, about <laughs> sleeping in these beds. We sort of get to know each other, so I think we're getting to know each other tonight, whether we like it or not. <laughs> Uh, you won't be spending the night here, I'm <laughs> Since our departure, you may breathe. <laughs> and you may thank me afterwards. So, day one, wrapped. That was uh, eventful. <laughs> it was, to say the least, but don't you just love this room the way it's around the Louis Vuitton trunks? Where? It's not Louis. Did that? <laughs> Today was a fantastic day, um, despite the weather, but I think the weather actually adds to the atmosphere here at the Q Station. You did doing the ghost tour. I think my favourite bit was when we had told the girls that they'd be spending the night here. In the, the hospital. At the hospital, <laughs> at the most paranormal place in Australia, other than my home. It was very hard to keep a straight face. But most of them were a bit devastated, to say the least. And we've got some really interesting advocacies there, and I um, can't wait to be sharing that with everybody. And more are going to come out tomorrow, no doubt, when we talk to the girls about what it is that they really want to change about the environment as well. And these are the things that we, as an organisation, are actually going to start enacting so that the girls can really get behind things that they actually care about. And the winner gets a project that her heart and soul is into that will help her to do well at the international competition representing Australia.